Texas football was kind of the connecting point for my family. It was something that we were always looking forward to. We could always talk about, and uh, every weekend it was it was what we were doing together as a family. There was no way we were missing a game. There's two things we're going to do, and that is we're going to go to Texas football games and we're going to go to church. Yeah. Yeah. How's it go? He was always very positive, very, very outgoing, very fun, and um, he definitely taught me everything that I knew about the game. He had been training for Alcatraz. He had done it like five years before, and he loved it. They always hugged goodbye every day before school. And I remember that morning was one of those mornings where I was rushing to get them to school because we were flying out later that day. And thank God Ross did his normal and came out and was like, hey, I didn't get my hug. They all got to give him that one big last hug. That morning was just the typical race morning. He got up early, he left early, and then I got the phone call. They just said, we're having a hard time getting him to breathe and you need to get here. But then when I got there, I knew, um, I could tell by the, you know, just by the looks on their faces. I came home, I walked in the back door, and Sam was standing, you know, right by the back door, and he he knew the minute he saw my face. Hearing his cry, I, I mean, it's, it's a cry that no parent wants to hear out of their children ever. Thirty minutes after I had heard the news and my whole family was together at the house, I, I Something, something, I think God just told me, your little brother's sitting right next to you and you're thinking about how hard, you're, how bad you're hurting. Think about how bad he's hurting and help him. And so then from that point on, it was just kind of my role switched. It wasn't, what can I do for myself to feel better? Is what can I do for my family to make them feel better? I kind of came into his life maybe six to eight months after that. Sam had to grow up a lot. He uh, was unbelievable in, in as far as support of his mother, uh, support of his little brother, support of uh, his little sister. You know, there was a maturity that had to come uh, whether he wanted it to or not. The way I felt by taking care of my family, I think that that carried over into how I, how I lead on the field. He would take over practices, even as a sophomore, where if things weren't going right, it didn't set real well with him. When one of your most physically tough players is at the quarterback position, that just permeates throughout your entire roster. I, I just think he, he plays to honor his father. March 
it in New Orleans on the back and arm of Sam Ellinger. And Ellinger runs it in. Touchdown, Texas. It's going to be a 10-win season for the first time since 2009. The emotion that we both felt in that moment was just um, understanding what we've been through and understanding the pain that we've been through and then being able to experience um, such happiness through the University of Texas. It was a special moment for me. There is almost an unspoken language for us when we all know we're thinking about Ross. Sometimes even in the happiest moments of our lives, we're just a little bit sad because he's not here. From me growing up being a huge fan, um, playing quarterback, and then being a leader in, inside my family, um, and just to be able to put all those parts together and actually be able to accomplish that and be here, um, be on the football team, it's, it's unreal. I, I can't put it to words, honestly. Okay, say bye-bye.